Hi everyone! Today I'd like to take you on a tour of PagePlus X7 and point out some key areas of the workspace along the way. First of all, you'll see your publication is displayed in the centre of the workspace. At the top are the menus and the standard toolbar. Here you can quickly access commonly used functions such as Open, Save, Print, Print Preview and Publish as PDF. Below the standard toolbar is the context toolbar. The context toolbar and its buttons change depending on the tool you've selected. At the moment, I haven't got a particular tool selected, so it's the page context toolbar that is displayed. We'll look at the context toolbar in a little more detail later. On the left is the tools toolbar. Here you'll find tools for adding text, creating tables and charts, inserting pictures and much more. You can click the small arrow next to the tool to expand its flyout and see all of the tools inside it. Next to the Tools toolbar is the Assets tab. From here, you can quickly access content, such as page layouts, pictures and backgrounds to add to your publications. You can also store your custom assets in the My Designs category for use in future projects. If you can't see a tab at first, Click the small arrow next to it. You can use these arrows to expand or collapse tabs at any time. You can also collapse or expand tab groups by clicking the arrow next to them and then choosing Minimize or Restore, respectively, from the drop down list. On the right are the three main tab groups. These groups include the Colour and Transparency tabs at the top the Pages and Textiles tabs in the middle, and the Transform and Align tabs at the bottom. It's easy to change the order in which these tabs are displayed. Simply click on the tab you want to move, and then drag it to its new location. The Effects and Chart Data tab are auto-hidden by default at the right-hand edge of the workspace. To view one of these tabs, simply click it and then click anywhere in the workspace to hide it again. To reset your workspace and return to the original layout at any time, choose Tabs from the View menu and then click Default Workspace. At the bottom of the workspace is the Hint Line toolbar. The Hint Line displays some really useful hints and tips, reports object sizes and positions and shows you what page you're working on. To the right of the hint line are a variety of zoom tools which you can use to zoom in and out of your page. Earlier in this tutorial I briefly mentioned the context toolbar which changes dynamically depending on what is selected on your page. PagePlus has some really powerful features to make editing your pictures really easy. These features can be found on the context toolbar but only when a picture is selected. Let's look at this a little closer. First, I'll navigate to a picture in my publication. To have a go at creating this brochure for yourself, check out the Quick Start video tutorial. When I select a picture, the options on the context toolbar change. Here you can see a number of different options which are dedicated to working with pictures. Photolab and Cutout Studio are dedicated studio environments where you can quickly fix, enhance or even cut out your photos. There is also an option for editing PhotoPlus. PhotoPlus is Serif's award-winning photo editing software and is great for more advanced photo editing. If you have PhotoPlus installed, click here to launch it. Any changes that you make to your picture in PhotoPlus will automatically be applied in PagePlus when you click Save. Well, that concludes our tour. We've covered a lot in this tutorial, so don't worry if you missed anything. To find out more, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching!